Hello and welcome, my name's Hayden Falzon, and today I'm going to show you how to quickly and simply build this 2D grease pencil rig for an eye. So we've got an eyelid, we've got a pupil that can be also scaled up and down, and we've got a root bone. So very simple stuff, and I'm going to be showing you how to use the new 2.83 mask system to get this all working. Okay, let's dive right in. So if you don't already have Blender 2.83, you can download it from the link in the description as well as from www.blender.org slash download. Because this is gonna be using some of the new features built into the latest build of Blender. And if you haven't already, check out my impressions on that build from the link up the top of the screen. Okay, so let's jump in. I'm just gonna delete all this uh, because we're gonna start from scratch. So I'm just gonna reset my cursor to the world origin and I'm also gonna turn on my shortcut VRs. So let's begin now. First step of course is to add a grease pencil and you can do that by going up here to add or shift A as the shortcut. And I'm just gonna add a grease pencil blank object and I'm gonna name this I. Now that we have that I, the next step that we're gonna do is we're gonna create a new material. And I'm going to call this material stroke and fill. And I've already actually got one there, so that's why it's giving me that .001. I want to then check fill. And now, after we have that, we can jump from object mode up here and come down to draw mode. Alternatively, we can press add workspace, 2D animation, and 2D animation or full canvas. And this will jump us into a camera view with our pen at the ready. Now, because my camera isn't set up properly just yet, I have to make sure that it's going to be facing my scene. So I'm just going to go back to layout. I'm going to set my camera to be viewing my scene from a correct angle. So I'm going to press N to bring up this side menu, go to item with my camera selected, and I'm just going to change the location on the X axis so that it's in the middle here so to zero. And then I'm also gonna change that Z axis to zero as well. The Y axis should be fine for now, but I might just set that to minus 25 just for organizational sake. So let me jump back to the 2D animation workspace and also uh, jump into the toggle camera view. Excellent. Now I'm gonna select my eye and I'm gonna go into draw mode. In draw mode, you're gonna make sure that you have this icon toggled on. This is the vertex color paint mode. Next, you also wanna come down here to color and you wanna change it from stroke and fill to just fill at the moment. And you wanna set this mix factor to one. Our next step is we just wanna ensure that our fill and stroke are set to black here. We're gonna use this black to act as our outline when we're actually filling the grease pencils with a vertex color. That's why we set this mode to fill. Because if we had it set to stroke and fill, it would act a little bit different from what we're after. So now that we have this color set, we're gonna set it to something like white and we're gonna grab our circle tool. Now I'm just gonna click and drag and hold shift to make sure that it's a perfect circle. And then I'm just gonna let go. After you're happy with the size of your circle, just press enter and perfect. Okay, now that we've done that, we're gonna notice that it's not exactly as white as we would like. Just to fix this, we can either turn off use lights in our object. So let me just come over here to the object data properties of my grease pencil and then just turn off use lights. I'm just gonna jump back into the camera now and switch back to material preview. So this is our first layer and let's take a look at this. Here's our layer primitives. I'm gonna rename this to I. Our next step is I'm gonna create a new layer and I'm gonna call this layer pupil. Now let's pick a color for our pupil. Perhaps I'm gonna pick a icy blue and then I'm just going to click and drag again. 
holding shift to make sure it's a perfect circle and enter. Now, if you're not happy with the location, all that you can do is press tab to go into edit mode, press one point on the circle that you aren't happy with, and then press L to select that whole circle. An alternative way will be to come up here to select mode and press this one here, which is select all points on the stroke. So now if I just click, it's gonna select the whole stroke. And I can just move that now into a better position. Now we're not gonna to worry too much about overlap just yet because we're gonna take care of all of that with the new Blender 2.83 mask system. Now again, you're gonna notice that it's a bit darker than the blue that we currently selected and that's because use lights is actually per layer base. So we could just have to turn that off again. And there we go, we have our nice ice blue that we selected, okay? Now my next step is I'm gonna create some highlights for my eyelid, so I'm just gonna come over here and select a nice white for that. And I'm just going to click and drag in here. And that's gonna be one, and I'm in the, still in the same, I'm still in the pupil layer. And then I'm just going to maybe make this one here, like this. Okay, perfect, so they're my highlights. Now I'm gonna create a new layer, making sure to turn off the lights. And I'm gonna rename this layer Eyelid. And then all that I'm gonna do is select the skin tone, it could be anything that you would like, and I'm then going to then draw out a bigger circle, something like this. And then I'm gonna press enter. Okay, so now that we have all of our parts ready to go, we're now going to set up the new mask system. So let's set up the pupil first. So I'm gonna select pupil, gonna come down here to masks, I'm gonna check masks, and then I'm gonna add a mask to the eye. So the eye is gonna be masking this pupil. Perfect. Okay, now I'm going to get this eyelid to be masked by the eye as well. So I'm gonna select the eyelid, mask, press the plus button, and then eye. Okay, now that we have all the mask systems set up, if I go into edit mode and then just move this eyelid, we're gonna see how it's affecting it. Same with my pupil. So this is really powerful, but now we need to rig it so that we're able to control it in a nice fluid fashion. So without using any of the grease pencil itself, we're just using the grease pencil as a staging area for our um, controllers. Okay, to do that, what we're gonna do is we're gonna jump out of draw mode, go to object mode, and we're gonna create a new bone. So I'm gonna press Shift A, armature, single bone. So here's my single bone here. Now, I probably want this single bone to be in the center of my eye, because this is gonna be the root. So one thing that we can do is I can actually just turn on the 3D cursor. So let me just come up here to the overlays and find 3D cursor. Perfect. Now I'm just gonna come in back to my object, select the eye object and just press shift S for snap and cursor to select it. So that should be in the center of my eye now. Now I'm just gonna come over here to my new bone and I'm gonna press shift A now I'm gonna press Shift S and Selection to Cursor. I'm also gonna rename this to iRig. Perfect. Now we're gonna create our bones. So going into edit mode by pressing Tab, I'm going to select this bone and press Shift D to duplicate it. I'm gonna get it roughly into the center of this pupil. And then after that, I'm just gonna create a new one and I'm going to put it roughly on the line for my eyelid. Okay, so let's name these bones now. This is gonna be the eyelid bone. This one here is going to be the pupil. And this is here is going to be the root. And before we jump to that step, I'm just going to link 
all those bones together, making sure that this root bone is the last that I selected, so that it's the active bone. So all that I'm doing is holding shift to select, and then making sure I'm selecting that root bone last, then control P, and then make parent keep offset. So be very aware of your naming convention because that's gonna be very important for the next step and jump back into our grease pencil. And let's jump into edit mode for this, not draw mode. So we're gonna come down here to object data properties and then come all the way down to vertex groups. Now we're gonna create vertex groups of the exact same name as all the bones we just created. So I'm gonna create three vertex groups. I'm gonna call this one root. I'm gonna call this one pupil. And I'm gonna call this one eyelid making sure that it is exactly the same as the bones that I have named there. Now I'm just going to select which parts I would like to be a part of which vertex groups. So I'm gonna select root first, making sure that I have my that I have the white of the eye selected, which I do at the moment. And now I'm gonna assign a weight of one to that selection. Perfect, next pupil. I'm gonna select my pupil as well as the two highlights and assign a weight of one to them. And now the eyelid, I'm just going to select the eyelid and assign a weight of one to them. Perfect. So now we're gonna go up here to the modifiers properties and we're gonna add an armature modifier. And we're gonna select our eye rig that we created. Perfect. We're gonna make sure that that bind two is set to vertex groups. Let's test this out now. Jump over to your bones Go to pose mode and let's see if this actually works. Nice. So see how this pupil bone is able to control the pupil. This eyelid bone is able to control the eyelid and this root bone controls everything. So now you can create a really nice animation really, really quickly with just bones using grease pencil. Let's add some effects to this now just to sell the effect. So I'm gonna jump back out of pose mode, jump into my grease pencil, come down here to effects. Let's add a shadow or maybe a rim. And let's also go into our rendered viewport shader to actually see this. I'm just gonna change the offset a little bit and change that color maybe. Now let's blur it. and increase the samples. How cool is that? Anyway, I hope this has been a really useful tutorial for you, and I hope that you're enjoying the new 2.83 Builder Blender. If you've enjoyed this tutorial and learned something new about Blender, give it a like and consider subscribing to see more tutorials like this. This is Hayden Falzon from FalzonFantasy.com Signing off.